The new Chromecast with Google TV has been really awesome. I love having a remote to easily control the TV, access Google Assistant and everything. But I'm getting a lot of questions on, can you pair a second remote to the Google TV and have them work together? Well, in today's video, we're gonna find out. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now, the first thing is you need to get a second remote. And as of right now, this is not available to purchase separately on the Google Store. Hopefully that will come about. But right now to use two remotes, you would need to buy two separate Chromecast devices. I am going to test another Android TV remote today to see if it will work, but let's go through and see if we can get it paired. The first thing we need to do is put the Chromecast in Bluetooth pairing mode. Now, if for whatever reason you don't have your original remote, you are able to do this just by pressing the button on the Chromecast. So once we do that, it is now searching for accessories. And so on our second remote, we just need to hold down the home and the back button until it starts pulsing the light and it is in pairing mode. So there you can see it's now pulsing. And up here, you can see Chromecast remote. And it looks like you aren't able to navigate down to it unless you do use a remote. And then I'm going to tap on Chromecast remote. So now it is paired up. So here I have my new remote and here I have my old remote. So if I want to navigate with the new remote, push home, navigate that way, navigate with my old remote, and it works just fine. Let's try Google Assistant. What's 100 times 100? The answer is 10,000. That remote works just fine. Play Iron Man. And that remote works just fine too. And so there you go. You are able to pair two Chromecast with Google TV remotes to one Chromecast with Google TV. Now, if you do have two remotes paired, you can't change the power and volume buttons to different devices. So they can both only control the same device. So here in the remotes and accessories option, if you go down to the bottom, you have set up remote buttons. So this allows you to add your receiver or add your TV so that you can then control other devices but here, when I push the volume on either of them, it's going to change the volume on my receiver. And when I push the power button, they'll both uh, turn on and off the receiver or the TV, however you set. So those are unison, you can't separate those. Another cool tip on the Chromecast remote is if you hold down the YouTube button, it actually gives you an, an option to select which YouTube app you want to use with that button. So if you want it to open YouTube, you can do that. You could have it open YouTube TV, YouTube Music, or YouTube Kids. So here I have it set to YouTube TV. So now when I press my YouTube button, it just jumps right into YouTube TV. Now let's go ahead and try out a third party remote. So here I have my XGME projector remote that runs Android TV. So I just held down the back and the home button and it showed up for pairing mode. Then I'm going to tap on it to pair. Okay, it has now paired. Let's go ahead and try it out. Push the home button down. I can navigate through it just fine. Let's try the source button. Doesn't do anything. Settings, nothing. Menu, nothing. Back, volume, nothing. But navigation works just fine. Let's try Google Assistant. Play the Mandalorian from Disney Plus. So it looks like it is not able to accept the voice commands from this remote. I don't know if there's anything else I need to do, but that's currently not working. Let's test our other two remotes. Yeah, yeah, I have three remotes now working for this. Now one more remote to test is my Harmony remote. I had problems with my Mi Box S pairing this together. Let's see if this can work. So here in the Harmony app, I'm just going to go to my activities going to tap edit activities. Here I named it Google TV is this activity. And then I'm going to tap keyboard. And now I'm going to put the Chromecast into pairing mode. Settings, remote accessories, add accessory. Then we're gonna go next. There you can see Harmony keyboard popped up. I'm going to click to pair. And after the second try, it is now paired over there on the TV. And here you can see in the application, it has been paired. 
All right, and with a bit of work, we now have our Harmony remote working with the Chromecast with Google TV. And so here you can see as I navigate through, oh, I can change the pictures, cool. So let's push back and then we can navigate through the menu and do everything, it's pretty snappy. And then the volume control, that's just using my receiver to control the volume. Here I can push exit to go back or I have the back button. Channel up and down, just goes up and down. Pause, play, fast forward, everything works up here. No issues, you can also just push okay to pause. So there you go, Harmony Remote works great. It just doesn't have any voice commands on here. Now the next remote I wanna show off is the one that's available on your phone. So on Android, or iOS, you can go into the Play or App Store and go and download the Android TV remote. So we open that up, and here it says it's not connected to a TV, but there you can see my Chromecast showed up. So I'm just going to tap on it, and then over on the TV, it's going to show a code I need to put in. Once I put that in, it then pairs together with the TV and you're able to control your Chromecast. So here I have down, left, right, back. I can play, I can go home, I can go back, I can play and pause right over here. And then I also have the option for Google Assistant. Play Lego Batman. And there you can see it continued where I left off. And then the next thing, let's say we go back home and we want to go to search, and maybe I don't want to use my voice, I can tap the keyboard, and there I can type something in, so there I typed Iron Man. Over there you can see it says the same thing as well, and then I can hit search, and now it is showing the results up on the TV. Now one more option you have in the remote is here in the menu, you can change it to touchpad. So instead of the directional pad buttons, now I can just swipe through up and down, left or right, and then I tap on the screen to select, and it works just as expected. So this app has been around for a long time. It looks a little outdated as it's not full screen, but it definitely is another option if you really need to have another remote. And this is really nice. If I can't find the Google TV remote, I can just pull this out and access everything on my Chromecast. Another option for a remote is to just use your TV remote control if you have CEC support. So here I'm using my Samsung TV remote and I can go through and navigate, I can push back and uh, I can go through and select and play and pause and I can do all that. Now one last option is to use a Fire TV remote. All you need to do is hold down the home button and it will put it into pairing mode. Here you can see it shows up as the AR option and it is paired, so we can go home, navigate down, up, left. Now currently my volume buttons are working, but I've previously set this up with my TV, so I don't know uh, exactly why that is working. And here if we go into a movie, we can pause, play, and we can fast forward and use the rewind buttons as well. Last option, voice control. What's 10 plus 10? and the Google Assistant button does not work again. Now the power button is working. Now I don't know if that's because I've previously set it up with the TV from the Fire TV previously, but because I am seeing the controls on screen, I would say that is the reason it is able to use the volume and the power controls. And so there you have it. You definitely can have a second remote with your new Chromecast with Google TV. Now, if you do have any further questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see my full video on everything that the Chromecast with Google TV can do, make sure you check out the video over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.